Hello everyone, it's Reverend Martin here. A big hello to All Saints Sunday Club. Hello Sunday Club. Big hello to Little Lights at St Peter and Paul's in Western Gordano. Hello Little Lights. And a big hello to All Saints School as well. Hello you guys, missing you as always. I've got another little video for you this week and we're thinking this week about special friends. I wonder if you've got a special friend. Can you picture them now? Close your eyes for a minute. Picture your special friend, someone that you really love, someone that you really like, that you enjoy hanging out with. You thought of someone? Okay, open your eyes. Think of that person. What is it you like doing with them? Do you like uh, playing together? Do you like going to the park? Maybe going on bike rides? Do you like playing computer games together? Do you like uh, imagining things together? Do you like doing with your special friend? Now I've got one or two special friends in my life too and I'm thinking of one now and what I love doing with this friend we love meeting up together uh, he lives um, quite far away but we meet up together on the train somewhere and we'll meet up in a town or a city we'll go and have a long walk together and we'll chat and chat and chat and then we'll go and have a delicious pub lunch usually something really unhealthy <sighs> don't tell everyone um, but we love that. That's what we love to do. That's our idea of a great day out together. Now, it's hard at the moment, isn't it? Because our special friends, for many of us, we can't see them at the moment. And it may be that with the lockdown easing a little bit, you've been able to see a friend uh, within uh, social distancing rules. But for most of us, we're missing our friends because we can't be with our friends in the way that we'd like to. We can't do the things that we enjoy doing together. But just because we can't be with our special friend, does that mean that we don't like each other anymore? Just because we can't be with our special friend in a normal way, does that mean that we don't care for each other or even love each other? I don't think it does. Because our liking and our love for our special friends, well, it lives here in our hearts, doesn't it? Our love for them, we carry it with us all the time whether we're together or not and it's a little bit like that with God. Christians believe that when Jesus was with his followers he knew that one day he would have to leave them to go back to heaven but he promised that he would send his friends a special friend to be with them and he called that friend the helper and we sometimes call him the Holy Spirit. So Jesus promises that he'll send a special helper, a special friend, called the Holy Spirit, who will be with his friends forever. And this is what he says. This is in John 14. Listen to this. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever. He is the Spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. So Jesus is saying that not everyone knows this special friend, the Holy Spirit. But everyone can know the Holy Spirit. When we open our hearts and when we trust Jesus, he gives us his special friend, the Holy Spirit, to be our special friend too. Now, I love having the Holy Spirit as my special friend. He's with me always. And whether or not I'm paying attention to him or not, um, when I stop for a moment and I pray, or especially for me when I sing, I feel his presence with me. I feel that he is my friend. And I remember, oh yes, the Holy Spirit is my friend. So we're going to sing in a moment about being God's friends. And this is a song that we've been learning at Little Lights at St. Peter and Paul's Church. So hopefully you'll know it. It's very easy to sing. And as we sing it, um, it's a very happy and joyful song. As we sing it, I wonder if you can notice something of the Holy Spirit in your heart as you sing and as you praise God. The Holy Spirit gives us joy. The Holy Spirit fills us with love and with a sense of purpose for our lives, that we know where we're going, that we're 
going in the right direction. That's the spirit at work within us, the spirit that Jesus came to the world. And he is our friend forever. Amen. singing. Let's pray. God our Father, we thank you for sending Jesus to be with us. And we thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to be our special friend and our helper. Help each of us during this period of lockdown to know your friendship, your love and care for us. Help us too to be good friends, to show consideration to others, to show humility to show service to those in our households and those in our communities and across the world too. As Christian Aid Week um, draws to a close, we thank you that we can be friends to people even on the other side of the world. 
So help us, Lord, as you are our friend, help us to be friends to others. And we pray for anyone who's in need today, anyone who's sick, anyone who's sad, anyone who's lonely or in danger. We pray that you'd come to them and be their friends. And help us to be their friends too. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And we bring all our prayers together in the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let me pray a blessing for you. So may God bless you with his friendship today. May he draw close to you, and may you feel his love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. See you soon. Bye.